So it's St. Patrick's Day. That means thousands of people are going to be going to um, Hot Springs for the first ever 20th annual World's Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes, it's in the prompter. Yes, it's easier but to, I still easier to read it than memorize it. But I told you the correct name, Joel, earlier. He did have it. He, he, he did it. it. Yeah, but then he got on air and he just <laughs> dropped the ball. Well, this morning, Fox 16's Claire Kreitz is there this morning in Hot Springs with a preview of what you'd expect from the first ever 20th annual World's Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade. Claire? Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm here with the world's largest leprechaun. Hey, you got to hot springs, y'all. You got to give a little spin for the suit. Okay, little flash, little bling. <laughs> it looks amazing. Now tell everybody what you can expect this year. What can you expect? What can you expect? The answer to that question is a good time. That's the first and foremost. You come out tonight, come out this afternoon, you're going to have a good time. It's free. That's one of the key things. It's free. So you bring the kids, come out, plenty of food. There's lots of green beer right behind us, the stage up here. Entertainment, 8 o'clock, the Molly Ringwalds, where we're standing here, the shortest operating street in America. Uh, on bridge, the parade stage, they'll come through here. You'll see our celebrities that we brought into town for this one. Um, just a lot going on. I mean, it's really hard to just sur surmise everything. If you've never done this, it's an experience. I understand going to be her first parade tonight. She's in for a treat, let me tell you. But it's just lots going on. The cheerleaders, we've got more cheerleaders this year than we've ever had. They just keep coming. We started with four. We've got 16 now. So says a lot. We've made all the major publications. We made Forbes magazine. That was really cool. A couple days ago, we are recognized in there. And, and a lot of people don't realize, little old Hot Springs, Arkansas, one of the top 10 parades in the world. I didn't say the U.S., I said the world. We're up there, Chicago, New York, uh, New Orleans. See you guys. But <laughs> right here in our own little community, in our beautiful state of Arkansas. So if you haven't been out to do this, it's really fun. The kids will love it. Just lots and lots of the color, the people. You see some people really dressed up, kind of weird sometimes, but, <laughs> but you know, but it's part of the deal. It's St. Patrick's Day. It's Arkansas. We know how to have a good time. Yeah. So you guys need to be here. You listening? You need to be right here, Bridge Street, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Tonight, the parade starts at 6.30. Come on down. I want to see you. All right. Well, in the next half hour, we'll talk even more about the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, the first ever 20th annual world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade is happening today. And Fox 16's Claire Kreitz joins us live now from Hot Springs with a preview of what all you can expect this year. Claire. Hey, good morning, Ashley. I'm here with Alexis with Visit Hot Springs, and it's world's shortest. So how long is this parade route? The parade route is exactly 98 feet long, the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade. And we've been doing it for 20 years now. It's no longer, no shorter, 98 feet on the dot. And we will be measuring before the parade to make sure that the street hasn't changed. That is so cool. Now you have some special guests coming this year. Who's going to be here? We absolutely do. Ensuing in the shenanigans with us this year, we've got parade starter Christopher McDonald. He's going to be starting the parade off, a.k.a. Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore. We've also got Grand Marshal Justin Moore joining us. How exciting. I'm, I'm excited. Yes. We've also got the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. We've got Sky and Marshall from Paw Patrol. And we've got the Idaho Potato. Oh, really cool, really cool. What is it like to celebrate 20 years? It's insane. So not only are we celebrating St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody, we're also celebrating our 20th birthday. So bring your party hats, bring your green, and I hope you all come out to Hot Springs, Arkansas this evening and join in all the festivities with us. Awesome. Well, in the next half hour, we'll talk even more about the St. Patrick's Day Parade, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks. I know the world's shortest person who might be attending that parade later on. It's St. Patrick's Day and thousands of people are filtering into the spa city for the first ever 20th annual World's Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade. Good job. She got it. <laughs> of course, she read it. Fox 16's Claire Grice is live this morning from Hot Springs with a preview of what you're going to get to see this year. Hey, Claire. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm back with Alexis, and this is going to be my first time at the World's Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade. What can the crowd expect to see? First of all, I'm so glad you're going to be joining us this I'm year. So it's going to be bigger and shorter, but still the same <laughs> size than ever. 
One thing that the crowd can expect is lots and lots of beads. It wouldn't be a St. Patrick's Day parade without the beads. All of our special guests, including Christopher McDonald, Sky and Marshall from Paw Patrol, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, Justin Moore, will all have their own special beads. So try and get all of the beads from all of our guest celebrities. That is so cool. Now, when do people need to start getting out here to get a spot? Now, the entertainment district opens at 3 o'clock, so you won't want to miss 5 o'clock the pre-parade festivities when the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders start on Bridge Street. And if you get here early, you might even get to see even more of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I heard they might be wandering around closer to 4. So oh. if you want to see everything and really get the most out of your experience, come on down, hit Bridge Street, and stay for a while. All right, perfect. Well, in the next half hour, we'll talk even more about the St. Patrick's Day Parade and what you need to know before you come out. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, the first ever 20th annual World's Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade is happening today. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz is live this morning from Hot Springs with a preview. And Claire, I have been waiting all morning long to see the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Are you with them by any chance yet? Oh, I hate to break it to you, Ashley. We're not going to see them just yet, but if you come to the parade, you will see the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. I am back with Alexis, so tell me what people need to know before they come out here. Absolutely. So the entertainment district today opens up at 3 o'clock, and we are out here on Bridge Street getting it all ready for everybody who's going to be joining us this evening. At 5 o'clock, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are going to be doing pre-parade festivities and routines right here on Bridge Bridge Street. At 625, we've got the official measuring of the parade to make sure it's still only 98 feet. And at 630, the first ever 20th annual World Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, will kick off with parade starter Christopher McDonald. I hope you all can join us. It's going to be such fun. Yeah, I am so excited. Now, what is it like to celebrate 20 years? It's incredible. The fact that this parade has happened consistently every year for 20 years just blows my mind. Hot Springs is so lucky to have this parade. It brings in so many people from all across the country, and it's also just a lot of fun for people that are in the area. Um, it's a blast. Everybody gets involved from the food vendors and beer vendors to the arts and crafts vendors, the merchandise vendors, plus all 40 floats, performances and entries are going to be either from here or we even have an out of state submission oh, too. Wow. So we're really excited to have people from out of the state come to Hot Springs to participate and be a part of this parade. So, so cool. A ton of fun. So definitely come out if you can. That does it for us here in Hot Springs. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you very much, Claire.